Um, hello, everyone. This is Joe Firestone with another progressive uh, shortcake for you. So my last uh, progressive uh, shortcake explored two questions. The first one was, uh, how is treasury spending funded? And there I answered uh, simply, it's funded through congressional, uh, through congressional appropriations. Very simple answer. And the second question that I entertained was how are reserves added to the treasury spending account so it can keep on spending the money which has been appropriated by the Congress. And then the answer to that question is that uh, reserves are added to the Treasury spending account so Treasury can keep on spending by the Federal Reserve. And the Federal Reserve does this based on business rules that uh, it follows. And uh, these business rules are connected to the settlement of uh, uh, tax transactions and bond uh, transactions. And also deposits uh, by the Treasury Department of coins that have been created by the mint and have been deposited in the public enterprise um, um, fund account and then uh, the, uh, the proceeds of which okay, are swept for the coin seniorage by the Treasury Department um, into the Treasury spending account. But I left open the question of, um, 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 is there some other way of, of triggering um, actions by the Fed to add uh, reserves to the Treasury spending account? And the answer is yes. There's a very simple thing that can be done, but that um, um, has not been done by Congress to facilitate this. Okay. And what that simple thing is, something called overt uh, uh, congressional financing. Let me give you some brief background on it. Article 1, Section 8 of the Constitution of the United States gives Congress the sole power to coin uh, by U.S. money. However, Congress um, delegates but does not um, give away the society to the Treasury Department and the Federal Reserve. Congress created the Federal Reserve in 1913 as the Central Bank of the United States and the primary banking agent of the Treasury Department. The 12 uh, Fed uh, by regional banks issue U.S. reserves, that is additions to reserve account um, balances, essentially to checking account balances, to all Fed account holders, including the U.S. Treasury spending account. Just as Congress created the Fed in 1913, and empowered it to create reserves by adding two, um, um, two account uh, balances, it can also order the Fed to add to the balances in the Treasury spending account. Now, I'm not saying this is current practice. It's not current practice. That's not the, the, uh, uh, the point. The point is that it is something the Federal Reserve can do uh, to add uh, reserves to the Treasury spending account. So now the issue becomes how can we get uh, the Treasury to cause the Fed uh, to add reserves? Well, the Treasury can't do it. 
but the Congress can. The Congress can. So, at the end of every bill, ordering the Treasury to spend on the programs Congress approves. Congress can also order the Federal Reserve to immediately increase the balance in the Treasury spending account by the amount we've ordered the Treasury to spend. And we can also order the Federal Reserve, Congress can also order the Federal Reserve to increase the same balance by enough for Treasury to pay back the portion of the national debt that will for, fall due during the period covered by the appropriated uh, spending. Now let's look at what might be used as the language for such orders, um, but to be appended by uh, the Treasury spending account. I'm going to share the screen with you in order to show you the language that uh, that might be used in order to get this done. And so I don't have to share the screen with the language. I will take myself out of it now. And you can see it uh, more clearly. And the language says, first of all, if this is called overt congressional financing, and then there are two sentences. The first one says, upon passage of this appropriations bill, the Federal Reserve is directed to fill the Treasury spending account at the New York by uh, Federal Reserve Bank, with the addition to its reserve balance necessary to spend on uh, this appropriation. In addition, and here's the second sentence, the Federal Reserve is directed to fill the Treasury spending account with the additions to the Treasury reserve balances necessary to repay all outstanding debt instruments including principal and interest, as they fall due for the fiscal year of this appropriation. That's it. That is the language to be added um, to, um, to any appropriation bill, could be an appropriation bill of 2,300 pages, but it only takes these two sentences added on to force the Fed to force the Fed to fill up uh, the Treasury spending account. These orders will provide the reserves Treasury needs to pay for one all new spending without increasing the, quote, national debt, um, unquote, also known as the debt subject of the limit. And two, it's all that is needed to allow the Treasury to pay back um, um, the parts of the previously incurred um, national debt as it falls due. And if one were to continue the practice of overt um, um, the congressional financing, over time, the national debt would eventually be extinguished. Overt congressional financing, or OCF, will end debt ceiling crises. And due to repayment of a large portion of the outstanding debt within six months, 
when I say a large portion, I mean one third to one half of the national debt would probably be extinguished within six months. This would make it clear to the public that the unpopular national debt is not only not a real problem, but is also well on its way to extinction. It will also make it clear to the public that the spending programs uh, that Congress uh, that Congress appropriates can easily be quote paid for unquote by the Congress of the United States without disruption of the economy or raising federal taxes to quote pay for uh, unquote um, the federal spending and for that matter without actually um, issuing um, any more debt instruments unless the federal government has a specific purpose for issuing debt instruments other than the purpose okay, of adding money, um, adding newly created reserves to the Treasury spending account. So this is another method of adding reserves to the Treasury spending account. It makes use of the monetarily sovereign power of the Congress of the United States. Uh, it's very easy. It's the easiest thing to do when you want to add money to the Treasury spending account. So, for example, if one of the reasons why the Republicans are currently objecting to the House uh, Heroes Act and its $3.4 trillion price tag, there is no need for the Republicans or anyone else to worry about the affordability of this $3.4 trillion uh, price tag because the Federal Reserve can, on order of the Congress, create $3.4 trillion worth of reserves um, in the Treasury spending account as soon as the act can, um, is passed, even before the Treasury starts to spend any of this money. The Federal Reserve can add and the necessary reserves um, 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 to the Treasury spending account. Well, what about inflation? I'm not going to consider it here. This is a short take. I'll talk to you about inflation, okay, in another short take. But I will say one thing, that if the Congress wants to avoid an excess of funds, remaining in the Treasury spending account, which a future unscrupulous president might try to use for purposes that have not been appropriated by the Congress, then it's also necessary to change the practice of the Federal Reserve so that when tax transactions, uh, when uh, tax uh, uh, the transactions transactions are settled. When tax deposits are made and the transactions are settled, the Fed would, in the normal course of events, no longer credit the Treasury spending account with any um, 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 new reserves that it creates at that point in time. And the reason why would be that Congress had advanced the Treasury, uh, the money. And the same is true in case the Treasury Department should begin to issue debt instruments. If it does issue debt instruments in order to drain money out of the um, um, economy, then that's fine. But it should not be credited with any new reserves for draining those new uh, instruments. So that's it for this progressive uh, short take. I'll get back to you later with some thoughts on inflation.